हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल प्रियंकर बायो केमिस्ट्री बाय डॉक्टर पी के प्रभाकर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अनदर टेस्ट फॉर द एमिनो एसिड्स एंड दैट इज जेंथोप्रोटिक टेस्ट दिस इज अ टेस्ट व्हिच नॉर्मली वी आर डूइंग फॉर एरोमेटिक एमिनो एसिड्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी फर्स्ट व्हाट इज एमिनो एसिड्स ऑलरेडी वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज एमिनो एसिड्स सो इट इज ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड व्हिच इज हैविंग एमिनो ग्रुप एंड एसिड ग्रुप together in the same compound it is called as amino acids normally in our protein synthesis when we are going to synthesize proteins we are going to use this amino acids uh, as a monomeric unit for the proteins so proteins are composed of amino acids so we have different types of amino acids we are having alpha amino acids beta amino acids gamma amino acids but only alpha amino acids we are going to use for protein synthesis so this is alpha amino acids why it is called alpha amino acid because Uh, this is carboxylic acids a group and this carbon is alpha carbon so if nh2 group is present on the alpha carbon it is called as alpha amino acids so whatever amino acids we are going to use in our protein synthesis all the 20 amino acids are alpha amino acids so all the amino acids is having common thing this component is common so all 20 amino acids differ in only this r group so 20 amino acids having 20 different type of r groups and depending on this r groups amino acids in chemical nature properties and different parameters vary according to amino acids to amino acids so this is a total amino acids where on the basis of r groups amino acids has been classified into four different categories uh, so uh, first category is non polar r groups where it is uh, having r group as a either ch3 or ch ch3 ch3 so these are non polar groups uh, so these are non polar amino acids second group is where r group will be polar so there we are having uh, these category of amino acids which is having polar r groups then we are having negatively charged r groups that is aspartic acid and glutamic acid they are having extra coh group and other fourth last category is positively charged r groups where it will be basic amino acids where we will have amino acids will have r group will have a extra nh2 groups like you are going to see here you are going to see here and you are going to see here so they are basic amino acids these are the four category of amino acids on the basis of their r groups what we are interested i have told you we are going to see the xanthoprotic test and that is the test basically for the aromatic amino acids so in this category uh, we are having three amino acids Uh, which is aromatic so that we are going to see it so first what is xanthoprotic test uh, it is a this test is a specific for the detection of aromatic amino acids i have already told you this is a test only for the aromatic amino acids what is aromatic amino acids so aromatic amino acids are those amino acids where r groups is having a benzene ring or aromatic nucleus so and this xanthoprotic word is coming from the greek word xanthos which means yellow and in this test we are going to get yellow color at during the result uh, during the experiment during the uh, observations so because yellow color so that's why it is called as xanthoprotic test this can be detect amino acids in any form either we are having amino aromatic amino acids in the free form free form means only we are having amino acids single amino acids or amino acids forms a proteins so amino acid will be in any forms this will give you the positive test now the presence of tyrosine and tryptophan preferably means when we are going to perform test tyrosine and tryptophan gives test positive test and very easily it gives positive test whereas phenylalanine that is very weak test it will be weakly detected it is not very easily detectable by this test so what is aromatic amino acids any amino acids which contains a aromatic group as a r group that is derivative of benzene so these are the three amino acids uh, that is phenylalanine here tyrosine and tryptophan already i have seen told you this is alpha carbon this is alpha carbon this is alpha carbon because alpha carbon is having nh3 groups so this is alpha carbon and this is r group so this three amino acids is having aromatic group as a r group ya yeah, aromatic benzene derivative as a r group so this is phenylalanine which is having uh, this r group tyrosine is having this r group and tryptophan is having this r group 
the specific feature you shall see it uh this are pina benzene ring and this benzene ring is activated benzene ring means it is easily reactable whereas this benzene ring is non activated uh, so phenylalanine does not have a activated benzene ring so that's why it is not going to react it further we are going to see it so these are the r groups which we are going to see during the test so the principle of this test is normally because we have seen r group is a benzene ring so the properties of amino acids all the amino acids whatever 20 amino acids we are having because this portion is common in all the 20 amino acids so if i have to differentiate two amino acids so that differentiation can be done only on the basis of r group like i have to differentiate between glycine and phenylalanine i have to differentiate between alanine and tyrosine so alanine and tyrosine is having this portion is the common thing they are only differing in their r groups so we can differentiate those two amino acid only on the basis of their r group so r group because this three amino acid is having r group as a benzene ring so the properties shown by these amino acids is the same properties which a benzene group is showing benzene derivatives are showing and one of the most important uh, chemical reaction shown by benzene ring is nitration nitration means addition of no2 into the benzene ring so whenever we are having a reaction benzene ring benzene reacts with nitric acid in acidic environment it is going to be nitrated nitrated means no2 group will be added onto the benzene ring that is called nitration and nitrated benzene nitro benzene we call it that is having yellow in color that is yellow is in color so that's why nitrated after this reaction we are going to get yellow color so the amino acids like tyrosine and tryptophan which is having activated benzene ring i have already told you because those two rings are activated and rarely undergo nitration reactions whereas the amino acid that is phenylalanine which is having aromatic groups aromatic benzene ring is there but that contains that benzene ring is non activated because this is non activated benzene ring so that's why it does not reacts very easily and reactions normally gives positive reaction in normal circumstances in normal uh, conditions so this is a nitration reaction uh this is a normal benzene ring which reacts with nitric acid in the con uh, acidic concentration acidic environment so no2 group is going to be added onto the benzene this is nitro benzene and its color is yellow and h2o will be so this is nitro benzene same properties will be used in this case also in case of xanthoprotic test also like uh this is a tyrosine molecule this is tyrosine amino acid this is uh c o o h this is alpha carbon sorry this is alpha carbon and this alpha carbon is going to having ns2 groups h and this is r group so this r group uh, in case of tyrosine is going to be nitrated nitration reactions means in the presence of hno3 that is acidic conditions it is going to be nitrated so this no2 group will be added onto the benzene ring means this is a nitro derivative of tyrosine and this color of this one will be yellow and that yellow color we are going to see it so uh, this all this reactions for tyrosines where uh, this is going to be nitrated you no know, two group will be added in the presence of acidic environment similarly this is tryptophan where this is the benzene ring and this benzene ring is going to be nitrated in the presence of acidic conditions so whenever the principle of this test is if you are going to heat a benzene ring benzene derivatives or the aromatic amino acids in the presence of nitric acid nitric acid donates it gives nit no2 groups uh, which will be added to the benzene ring of the amino acids and amino acid we are as a result we are going to get nitro derivative of amino acids and nitro derivative of amino acid is having yellow color that yellow color we are going to see in the result in observe in the result in case of phenylalanine this phenylalanine is having benzene ring but this benzene ring is non reactive benzene ring it is a non activated benzene ring so that's why this benzene ring is not going to have any kind of nitration reaction and it gives a negative result it gives a false uh, means uh, negative result we are going to get it 
Now, what are the requirements we are going to get? Uh, we require test sample. Test sample will be either proteins or the amino acids, which we are going to do test. Then we require concentrated nitric acids. Uh, we require 40% NaOH. I will tell you, I didn't tell you what is the use of NaOH. I will tell you what is the use of NaOH. Uh, distilled water, water bath, uh, dry test tube, and pipette. Now, how, what are the procedures? First, we are going to take two test tubes. One for our test and second one will be for a control. In both the test tubes, in the test test tubes, we are going to put our test sample. Test sample means either it will be protein sample, it will be amino acid sample. So test sample we will put in this one, two ml of test sample into the T test tubes, two ml of distilled water into the control sample. And then one ml of nitric acid in both the test tubes. So now both the test tubes are having three, three ml content. Mix, shake well, Heat the test tubes for two minutes and cool under the tap running tap water. So under the tap water, we have to cool it and observe for any color change. If this test sample will have tyrosine, tryptophan, it will give you yellow color. If yellow color forms in the test sample, it means tyrosine and tryptophan or amino acids, protein which contains tyrosine and tryptophan is present there. If you are not going to get any color, it will be clear solution, it means the sample does not contain tyrosine, tryptophan or any proteins which contain tyrosine and tryptophan. Whereas in case of control, because we have, having dis we have distilled water, so it will give you the negative uh, test, it will be clear solution. Once we have got yellow color solutions, then now we are going to add few drops of NaOH. The use of this alkali uh, makes them uh, chargeable, means uh, it will be Form going to form a salt. So because of this formation of nat uh, natural derivative of amino acids converted to the charge forms, it will be ionized forms and because this ionized forms convert yellow color into the orange color. So if you are having test sample is having proteins, you are having a tyrosine tryptophan containing proteins or tyrosine tryptophan amino acids, the yellow color will be conver converted into the orange color. If you don't have all those things, it will not be converted. So this is our test. As a result, we are going to get, uh, this is the positive sample and this is the negative result. So if you are having, we will get the yellow color solutions. After the adding of NaOH, you will get the orange color solution. If you don't have anything, you will get the clear solution. So this is your positive and negative result for the test. Now there are some points which needs to be remembered for this test is, it is a test for aromatic amino acids. So preferably given by both tyrosine and tryptophan only not for phenylalanine why because tyrosine tryptophan is having activated benzene ring aromatic ring whereas phenylalanine does not have activated benzene ring so that's why phenylalanine does not give the positive test tyrosine tryptophan gives positive test tyrosine tryptophan are more polar than the phenylalanine so it will be polarized it will be uh, going to be uh, charged and this reaction is one of the reaction that occurs if you spill a concentrated solution of nitric acid onto your skin. Like if nitric acid falls on our skins, our skin will be yellowish because on our skins we are having a proteins and that protein contains tyrosine and tryptophan. So once nitric acid falls on our skins, the proteins which is present in our skins will be going to do xanthoprotic reaction. Xanthoprotic reaction means nitration reaction will occur. So the skin will be yellow in the color because of this nitration of the tyrosine tryptophan amino acids so that's all for today hope you have understand it if you have any query any comments you can write in the comment box if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it uh, if you like the video press the like button and you can press the bell button also so that you will get all the notification for the upcoming video thank you very much